all these new guys that come in, I mean, obviously there's a excitement at first. And then typically when you start lifting and, and, you, and you're doing some running, you got practice all of a sudden, kind of, you kind of feel like you hit a wall or like, whoa, this is a lot. Well, I think anytime newness wears off, you know, you have to make sure you have it within you to bring energy and bring a passion to what you do. I think there's some real challenges with playing fast and learning a new system and, and principles of how we're going to play and a whole new offensive philosophy. You hit a wall as a freshman, not just, you know, from a grind standpoint, just as a freshman. For me personally, hitting that wall kind of tested my mental strength. In the weight room is, is definitely something that, you know, it, ta it takes a lot mentally. In the beginning when I first started, I mean, I was sore a lot. Coach Kettler is more, definitely more demanding. It's fast paced, so it's like, you, know, you don't do a set and it's a break. It's one after another while you're sore, while you're tired. Yeah, let's let's go at this thing full speed. Let's go after it and let's, let's push as hard as we can. A lot goes into this and the changes that occur are because of their want to. I feel like it's a different transition because of the intensity. You know, Coach, Coach Kettler is obviously really intense. My body has not adjusted quite yet, but it's definitely getting better. Like, I'm still, still a little sore, but I can definitely feel the difference already. If everybody's too nice and everybody gets along too well, it takes somebody to grab somebody by the scruff of the neck and really challenge them um, and hold them to account and really push them and correct them. Are the older guys picking them up? Are those guys picking each other up? And I think I've seen that a lot. I've seen guys worrying about each other in a positive way, pushing each other in a positive way. You know, the team that struggles together, wins together. So be able to see the guys, you know, continue to develop in the weight room, get better, it's huge for us as a team. I feel like I've gotten stronger. I feel like I've gotten more lean. I feel like I'm much more in shape. A lot goes into this, and, and the changes that occur are because of the kids' attitudes, because of their their work ethic, and because of their want to, you know, wanting to become great. For the newcomers, I feel like now is the time to hit that wall. For them to get over that wall would be huge going into this next season. The real adversity, the real challenges that a team faces every season are still to come, but I think uh, where our guys are right now has, has been really exciting and really, really positive. Being able to go to Coach Max's house, you know, we weren't able to do that as often last year. So to be able to do that was huge for just me personally. I feel like, you know, off the court activities are something that can really, really help the chemistry of the team. That was probably one of the times where it was like I knew I didn't really know anyone as much. But it was good to see how everyone interacts and how close the team is because. I've never done anything like that where we go to the coach's house. I think the more you build and the more you get to know people, the more you trust them. Uh, and I think that bleeds on the floor as well. You communicate a little bit better, you trust each other a little bit better. I think it's really important to get off site, uh, out of the Kiever Center, just getting away from everything. I, I think it's the perfect thing to do. I mean, just overall, you know, being close with my teammates and being able to talk to them about pretty much anything, I mean, it just, it just helps us, you know, succeed when we have those time, those hard times say in practice. I think a great way um, to build that kind of unity and cohesion um, is some of the off the floor things. How, how do we get together and get to know each other a little bit better? How do we build strong relationships? And hopefully that, that serves us well as far as wins and losses. My name is Matthew Cross. I am a small four and I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. I got to Louisville about a week and a half ago because I had to finish up some academic obligations. Matt Cross has been thrown into the deep end for sure. You know, obviously he joined us a little bit later. Coach Mack shared that big reason why they brought me in is definitely to help shoot the ball. You know, playing against him last year and seeing him play in person now, like open gyms or practice is a lot different. On the court, I mean, I've seen a lot of, a lot of good things from him. I mean, of course, his ability to shoot the ball, I mean, he's strong, he can get in the lane. I think he's a better passer than people give him credit for. Uh, he's a better handler than people give him credit for. He's a big, strong kid. He's been really personable off the floor and has gotten along with everybody. It's been good. I mean, we kind of clicked right away. 
I mean, they kind of accepted me right away, went out with them right away, just like to the gym and stuff like that. I love Matt as a person. He has a great personality. He's funny, fun to be around. He got similar hobbies, such as playing the game or just chilling and watching the game. The biggest things I like to do off the court, I play video games. I'm not a big gamer. I went skydiving last, last summer. Uh, so just stuff like that, anything adventurous, really. I mean, he comes from a good background. I mean, his family got to meet his parents when they came in. I just look very much forward into to pushing him in here in the weight room, getting to know him better. You know, being that first week, it's tough. It's not for everybody, but it shows not only me, but the team and coach staff as well that, you know, he's here to stay. He's here to fight. I really, truly believe that he's a huge piece of this team and will really help us out this year moving forward. My name is Cahill Fennell, I'm the assistant coach for men's basketball at the University of Louisville. Being a part of this program is, is an honor. I think it's one of the, the great college basketball programs in the country. When you look at the fan base, when you look at the history of winning, when you look at the coaches that have been here, and that has extended to Coach Mack as well. He's done a tremendous job since he's been here. I really believe in him and his vision. Coach Cahill is high on energy. I don't think you ever see a guy not smiling, not laughing, not joking. You know, I, I try to lead with honesty, man. I, I just try to set an example of how I work every day and, and the things I'm about, and then I, I'm really straightforward and honest to the point with my people. He's kind of the first guy that was like talking to me and getting to know me, because I'm personally probably an introverted kid, quiet. So he would make jokes to try to break the ice, along with trying to help my game personally and getting to know me off the court. I love Coach for now. I mean, he's, a, he's a funny guy. I mean, we, every time I see him, I, I get excited. He's definitely on me a lot though. I mean, when we're in practice, I mean, he'll definitely come up to me and tell me like I have to lock in. I mean, I definitely appreciate that. I mean, I can tell that he really, really is trying to, you know, help us as players. I'm really excited about the roster, man. I think we got some guys that are really hungry to get better, especially the returners. I think the returners have really been working their behinds off. Really have had open minds about learning a new system, which is, which is challenging, which is a lot harder and more demanding than I think people think. And then the newcomers have really added something as well, both as players, um, as people off the floor. They've really meshed well with our returning groups. For me personally, he pushes me past limits. I didn't feel as though I could go. Really challenges me, um, which is something I need players and our staff know exactly where I stand, they know exactly where I come out on things, um, and then hopefully if they see the integrity and the, and the effort that I put into my work, hopefully we'll be in a good place on, a, on an interpersonal level and then we'll, we'll be in a great place moving forward as a group. I'm excited about where we are so far, uh, as far as our growth and our development. I think we have some, some, some born leaders that I'm really excited about that I think will kind of take on that, um, that challenge and that role, and, and I'm really looking forward to what that looks like. The constant goal, you know, is to continue to challenge people, you know, in all facets so they can become more mentally tough and, and hopefully bring that onto the floor and help us win. Being able to work out with each other every day, uh, just competing against each other, you know, it gets a little bit chippy out there sometimes, but and you know, a little, we can talk a little bit and chirp. Kind of a little bit of trash talking, a little bit of um, bumps, you know, guys getting at each other. You can kind of feel the competitive nature um, throughout practices, throughout open gyms, throughout um, individuals. Competing with my teammates, is, it drives me every day. I mean, I, I love to compete. I feel as though that each guy here wants to win. My iron shop is iron, that's something that Coach Matt preaches, and he preaches on a lot. The guys have really taken to it. They've put in the work necessary. They've been really vocal as far as coaching each other, which is huge and, and hugely beneficial. So um, I think our guys are absolutely on the right track.